Okay, hey guys, this is Amy Inception. We are watching Disney Channel, and they do the best thing I can. Is it me right now, Jermaine? No, I can't do it. Good girl, that bad has to be, be somebody who you'd be like, I feel you, girl. child and this is my page hello hi hi i've been contemplating for months how i was gonna start this channel how I was how i was gonna go about things um what i wanted to do what i wanted to talk about who i wanted to feature how i was gonna go about you know making the videos or you know shooting the video should i say you know because you know my pockets ain't ain't that big to be out here buying thousand dollar cameras and stuff like that so you know i'm using my iphone 11 to record this you know no judgment or whatever because i know some youtubers who still to this day even with as much as subscribers that they have <clears throat> subscribers that they have they still use their phone i guess i'll be using my phone until i get to that goal that i want to get you you know you know a couple k subscribers they get my plaque looking cute but anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. My name is Alien Step Child. I am from Harlem. This is my first YouTube video. This is like my sixth take of this video because I've been a nervous wreck. I'm not anymore. I've opened up to my senses. I've smoked a little bit of weed and I'm good. I'm good to go. All right, so I just want to say hello again. Welcome. My page is going to be about me, about us, because eventually it's going to be a us. Eventually, I'm going to have a fan base besides from the one that I already have. <laughs> but, anyways, <laughs> there's going to be a fan base, and eventually, eventually, it's going to be about what you guys want, what you guys request, what you guys ask for. And I'm just going to make all of that possible. I'm here to talk about my journey, what I'm going through, how my life is, how my relationship is, friendships, how my friendships are, the people I have in my life, the people who I love, the people who I admire. You'll get to know all of that. You'll get to know a lot about me. And I want to get to know a lot about you guys, you know, because I'm not sure who's going to be watching this in a couple minutes from now, a couple hours from now, a couple weeks from now, a couple months from now, a couple years from now. Whoever you are, from wherever you are, hello, and thank you for watching me. Um, My page, or should I say my channel, doesn't have a specific topic. Like, I can't sit here and tell you, oh, my page is going to be about, all about, should I say, like, you know, movie reviews or something. Some My page is going to be very spontaneous. I'm going to do whatever I feel like doing that day when I decide to record. Hey, maybe I want to record myself eating a big-ass bowl of noodles. Hmm. Maybe I want to record myself, you know, just laying back. Talking about how my day went. Maybe I'll make some videos, you know, answering questions that, you know, the viewers have for me. You know, most of the time, everything is just going to be unpredictable. Like, I'm not... One of those people that's going to come on here or write you guys and be like, oh my God, my next video is coming out and it's going to be about bottled water. No, it's never going to be like that. It's always going to be a new video, a new concept, a new day, a new idea, a new ob objective. I want to have fun. I want you guys to have fun and I want all of us to have fun together. Um, One of the reasons why I really started my YouTube was because... A lot of my friends and my colleagues and my peers have told me that I'm a very funny person. I have a very crazy, down-to-earth, outspoken personality, which I do. And they felt like I should create a YouTube, a platform, 
where you know I can share who I am and my ideas and I guess the crazy mental person I can be at times with the world so here I am that's what I'm doing and you know this has been highly requested I've been pro procrastinating for a long time and here I am um honestly besides the fact that my friends told me that they wanted me to start a youtube i kind of to want to i want to i kind of wanted to branch out and do my own thing because you know i do have social medias i've watched people you know go from you know me like living in the hood or whatever the case may be to now they're living in mansions you know have their own businesses whether they're selling hair lashes whatever it is or for just you know doing their thing on youtube you understand what i'm saying so if they can do it why can i so, I'm personally tired of working. People like to interrupt my videos. But anyways, like I was saying, I'm tired of working. I'm tired of clocking in. I'm tired of clocking out of a job. I'm tired of having to listen to somebody's rules. I'm tired of people just making up rules because they woke up that day and decided, you know what? I didn't like the fact that Lucy had on white sweatpants or had on this or had on that. If, that, if it doesn't say that in the guidebook, why all of a sudden? Because you're the manager. You decided that you, because you don't like her white pants or whatever the fuck she got on, that you want to make up new rules. I don't have time for that. Honestly, I'm the type of person, with my type of personality, I have an alpha personality, okay? I need to be my own boss. So, I decided, hey, let me branch out. Take little ideas here, from here and there, you know, from this person, that person, this website, that website. And hey, let me make my own thing. So now here I am on YouTube, you know, I'm learning. We're learning. We all learning. And, you know, I'm learning the trade or whatever. I've watched YouTube couples do their little cheesy pranks or whatever. I've watched, you know, people start doing nails and stuff like that on youtube and now all of a sudden you know they got celebrities or whoever it is hitting them up you know hey can you come do my nails hey can you make this shirt for me hey can you make you know this wig for me and you know etc 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 excuse me so you know i want to be that person too who don't want to make their coins i want to make coins too i want to make youtube coins i want to get my youtube plaque Okay, I want to be able to eventually, you know, I come on YouTube and you see my plaque behind me in my beautiful house that I bought with my money because I worked hard for it. You feel me? That's what I want to do. I'm tired of clocking in at somebody's job. I'm tired of reporting to somebody's man, man, woman, whatever manager, whatever they want to call themselves, he, she, they, them. I'm tired. I'm honestly tired. Okay. Because the type of personality I have, I'm not going to kiss ass. And, I, and you know, some in a lot of companies, they like to tell you, you know, the, the customer is always right. No, the fuck they're not. They're not always right. Not at all. And what you're not going to do to me is scream at me. You're not going to belittle me because you feel like I'm below you. Because your parents could afford to you to, for you to go to Harvard or Princeton or wherever the fuck you went. You're not going to come to work and belittle me because at the end of the day... I'm waking up out of my bed to come serve you something at the strength of me having to pay my bills because unfo unfortunately, I wasn't born with a silver spoon in my mouth, okay? My mom got her citizenship from her uncle when she was in Honduras. She was like 20, I think 28 years old. My mom came to the States when she was 28 years old with my seven-year-old older sister. I wasn't even thought of yet, okay? My mom came to America with a sixth grade education. There wasn't much she could really do for us with a six-way education. So, you know, my mom worked factories and she worked job to job to make sure we was good. But me? I don't want to do that. And I feel like she gave us the opportunity to do so. She moved here so we can have the best schools, you know, whatever, the best schools. And, you know, the best jobs and the best economy or whatever. I'm not trying to come at how the government does what they do, but at the end of the day, I feel like people come here expecting so much better, and it's kind of not at all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people people feel like because people come from another country, they can belittle them, they can talk to them however they want to talk to them. And that's not the case. Like, my mom has been in America for, like, what, 
32 years now and she probably she doesn't speak a lot of english so half the time when she goes she goes to do something i have to be there for her i have to be there to translate stuff but anyways i'm not trying to get beside myself all i'm trying to say is that i'm tired of working okay i want to have my own business i want to venture out do my own thing make my coins from wherever i can you know i want to have a go thumb and, you know, I just want to turn everything that I touch into gold. I want to make everything into money. And I want to, you know, eventually provide for my family and for myself, you know, for my friends, for my loved ones. And that's what I'm trying to do. So that's what I'm here doing. I'm a young, independent woman from Harlem. I take care of myself. Um, I make sure that I'm always good. I make sure that everyone around me is always good, whether I have it or whether I don't. And, you know, hey... We all get stereotyped. We all do. Okay? I was born and raised in Harlem. All I really know is Harlem. I never really got the luxuries to travel to other places, you know, like, you know, foreign places or whatever the case may be. I haven't done that. But I'm working on doing that for myself. So, you know, all I really know, like I said, is the hood. So, you know, now I'm trying to branch out and, you know, surround myself around just positivity. Positivity, positivity, positivity because I've been in very dark places. And to be honest, I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of sitting here having to stress and struggle about how I'm gonna do this and how I'm gonna do that. And then, you know, and I'm also tired of procrastinating because I'm not gonna sit here and be like, and, and I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat stuff or shit, should I say, and be like, oh, well, you know, I do work, you know, I do bust my ass and stuff. I do, I do. But some days I wake up and I'm lazy. I don't want to get up. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You know, I admit that to myself. I admit that, that, you know, sometimes I should go harder than what I do. So that's my goal. And that's what I've been doing, since, you know, the start of this year, 2020, even with everything that's going on, even with that. You know, because look at me. I'm here making my first video after like mad long saying I'm going to make my YouTube. Okay. Mad long. Like when I tell you mad long, mad long. Because I've been living the fantasy of these YouTube couples. I've been there like, <laughs> let me take a picture in front of this Lamborghini that I want for myself. Even though I can't even drive. But I want the car and I want the house. Okay. And I want the income. I want all of that. So I'm going to make sure that happens for me, whether it's from YouTube or from me, you know, doing what I had to do, opening my own businesses, you know, because a girl like me is very talented, okay? I'm a Libra, honey. Libras, for all you Libras out there, you we all know, y'all all know we are talented, okay? All right? Let me tell you something. We all talented, okay? I could do whatever I want as long as I set my mind to it. And me, I know how to make clothes, I know how to write, I know how to design, I know how to do all of that. You understand what I'm saying? I just wish I knew how to sing, but that's another topic, okay? I know how to do the crafts that I need to do to become successful. And I made this page so I can show people my journey. I want people to see the tears, the sweat, the blood, the smiles. I want, every, I want everyone to see the things that I go through because I'm not the only one out here. I'm, I know I'm not the only person right now starting their YouTube or thinking about starting it. You understand what I'm saying? Or thinking about starting any business, especially with all of this going on. Some people are at home 24 fucking 7 right now, going insane because they're at home and can't go outside. So I've decided to take the opportunity on my only day off to make this YouTube. Because you know what? I'm Like I said, I'm tired of going to work. I'm tired. I'm tired. And I hope that this video, whoever's watching it, it awakens something in you, okay? And it, you know, and then it, it lets you know your worth, who you are, what you want to do, and how you need to accomplish it. Cause I'm growing too. I don't know. I don't know what's to come. I don't know what's gonna happen three weeks from now, three months from now, three years from now. I sure as hell don't. I'm scared for it a little bit, of course, cause you know, change can be scary. And that's what a lot of these YouTube people don't tell you. They don't tell you the things that they went through. They don't tell you they were scared. They don't tell you their thoughts and how they felt at that moment. But I'm going to keep it real, okay? I'm not. I'm not Because I, I've, have, I've had a bittersweet life. My life has not been dandelions and meadows that you see on Twilight. That has not, my life has never been like that. So I want people to come on my page and be inspired. 
by who I'm becoming, what I'm doing, and what I'm doing to be that person, okay? I'm trying to manifest success into my life. And I want everybody to do the same. Everybody. So for those who are at home and they like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. No one knows where to start, okay? You just have to take that leap of faith and you got to do what you got to do. Shit, you know how I started? One day I was mad drunk in the house listening to music and I decided, hey, let me bring out my phone. Let me go on my notes. Let me write down the things I want to accomplish and what I'm going to do to accomplish that. The steps I'm going to take to accomplish that. I even wrote down what I was going to do to this YouTube. And you know what the first thing I wrote down? Oh, I'm going to get a camera. Did I get a camera? No, I used my phone. It's just, it's just certain things. Don't let little things derail you. Do what you got to do. Be you. And always think about you and everybody else, should I say. Because, you know, some people can be very selfish. Which I'm not saying don't be selfish. I'm not saying here saying, oh, well, you know, keep taking back that nigga after he was sitting here talking mad crazy about you. Not supporting your dreams and stuff. But sometimes you got to put yourself in that, other, in that other person's shoes and be like, damn... You treating me like that because you insecure, you know? Sometimes it got to be like that. Like, sometimes you can't be a negative person. You can't be angry. You can't come at people in an angry manner. Sometimes you have to be calm. And that's something I'm learning about myself. You have to be very patient. But anyways, I'm getting sidetracked or whatever. I just want all of you to get from this video that anything is possible. Like, if you set your mind to it, anything is possible. Like, you know, see, I'm sitting right here, look at my little door thing is broken, and I'm still recording or whatever, but I don't care. I, I don't care. I didn't come here for that. But, hey, you know, I don't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to kind of, you know, fake introduce myself. I am Adrian Stepchild, like I said, 26 from Harlem. I'm no better than anyone else. Um, This is my new video, my first video. And, you know, hey, I know y'all see my double chin and y'all see, you know, I'm not the most perfect girl, whatever. But to be honest, my confidence is so, my confidence is so radiant. I don't need that. I don't need to be no little Hispanic, no little, no little light skin girl, no little none of that or whatever, like brown skin or whatever. I love the skin I'm in. I love my dark skin. And I'm saying this because there's a lot of people out here who feel like because they're dark skinned, they can't do what they want to do. No, girl, go for do that. Shoot for the stars, okay? I want all the little black girls out here. All, all, all the Asians, Caucasian, whatever you, whatever you are. I want all of you to love yourself for who you are. And to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. Fuck what anybody else got to say. Shit, if your friends want to be negative, next, get another group of friends. Or if not, stick to yourself and do what you got to do. That's all I got to say. But, yeah, for my next video, I got some tea. Guys, I got some tea. I I wanted to fit it into this video, but I guess I rambled on about myself and about my, my channel. Which I'm glad I did, you know. Because my first video, girl, I was all over the place. All over the place. Not again. Not again. But... I see you guys next time. It's going to be a real juicy video, you know, because I got robbed at work the other day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People out here robbing doing all of this. Mm -hmm. See y'all later, you know. I'm going to add my Instagram, my Snapchat, and my Twitter to the end of this video and also in the description box at the bottom. I'm going to need y'all to like and subscribe to my page also you know if y'all want y'all can send this video to whoever let them watch it let them watch it because i'm coming with more tea i'm coming with more juice okay